Welcome to the learning curve. I'm Doug, this is my planet, and when I learn, you learn. Today, I'm testing various microphone setups for the DJI Pocket 2 camera. I'm going to be testing these microphones in what I'm calling Situation 3, a relatively noisy outdoor environment with traffic noise, I'm going to be walking down this relatively busy street in Thailand, have some traffic and some market stalls and people around me, we have some wind, and I'm going to be testing seven different microphone setups. I'll put the seven setups up on the screen here and you can uh, see what they are. And as I do each test, I will tell you what microphone I'm using and I will put a little title card on the screen so you can follow along with me as I climb up the steep learning curve, learning how to use the DJI Pocket 2. This is an audio vlogging test of the DJI Pocket 2. I am testing microphone setup number one using the four built-in microphones in the DJI Pocket 2 itself. And this is situation number three, a noisy outdoors environment. I'm walking down a relatively busy street in Thailand and there is a fair amount of traffic noise and there are some people and market stalls around me. So this is microphone setup number one, the four internal microphones built into the DJI Pocket 2. This is an audio vlogging test of the DJI Pocket 2, and I am testing microphone setup number two, which is a lavalier microphone, which I have here on the front of my uh, shirt, connected to the do-it-all handle which comes with the Creator Combo with the DJI Pocket 2. And this is situation number three, a noisy outdoors environment. I'm walking down a relatively busy street in Thailand. There is traffic noise around me and there are quite a few people and uh, busy market stalls as well. So this is microphone setup number two, lavalier mic plugged into the do-it-all handle. This is an audio vlogging test of the DJI Pocket 2 and I am testing microphone setup number three, the DJI Creator Combo wireless mic. This is the wireless mic that you get with the Creator Combo set for the Pocket 2 and I have it here on my chest and I'll put it underneath my shirt as I normally do with a wireless mic and you can see how that sounds. And this is situation number three, a relatively noisy outdoors environment. I'm walking down a busy street in Thailand as you can see, having to thread my way through traffic. There's a fair amount of traffic noise and there are quite a few market stalls and uh, people all around me. So this is microphone setup number three, the wireless mic that comes as part of the DJI Pocket 2 Creator Combo. This is an audio vlogging test of the DJI Pocket 2. And this is a test of microphone setup number four. I have a lavalier microphone, which you can see on my chest, and it is attached to the wireless mic, the DJI wireless mic, that comes with the Creator Combo Kit for the Pocket 2. 
And this is situation number three, a noisy outdoor environment. I'm walking down a busy street here in Thailand and there is some traffic noise around me as well as quite a few people and uh, market stalls. So this is microphone setup number four, lavalier mic plugged into the DJI wireless mic that comes with the creator combo. This is an audio vlogging test of the DJI Pocket 2, and I am testing microphone setup number five, and I'm using a Rode Wireless Go microphone. I have it underneath my shirt, and it is the receiver is plugged into the do-it-all handle that comes with the DJI in the uh, creator combo, and I have the Rode Wireless Go set to the lowest decibel rate output rating and this is situation number three a busy outdoors environment i'm walking down a busy street in thailand with a fair amount of traffic noise and there are a lot of stalls and people around me as well so that is microphone setup number five the road wireless go on the lowest decibel output rating. This is an audio vlogging test of the DJI Pocket 2, and I am testing microphone setup number five, which is the Rode Wireless Go microphone, which I have underneath my shirt here, and I have the Rode Wireless Go receiver attached to the do-it-all handle on the Pocket 2. I have the Rode Wireless Go set to its medium decibel output rating. And I am testing a situation number three, a busy, noisy outdoors environment. I'm walking down a relatively busy street here in Thailand, and there is a fair amount of traffic noise and a lot of food stalls and people around me. Oh, this is a test of the microphone setup number five, the Rode Wireless Go, set to the medium decibel output rating. This is an audio vlogging test of the DJI Pocket 2, and I am testing microphone setup number five, which is the Rode Wireless Go, I have the Rode Wireless Go microphone underneath my shirt, and I have the Rode Wireless Go receiver attached to the do-it-all handle of the Pocket 2. And I have the Rode Wireless Go set to its highest decibel output rating. And this is situation number three, a busy outdoors environment. I'm walking down a relatively busy street here in Thailand. There's quite a bit of traffic noise around me a lot of people and market stalls as well. So this has been a test of microphone setup number five, the Rode Wireless Go, set to the highest decibel rating output. This is an audio vlogging test of the DJI Pocket 2, and this is a test of microphone setup number six. The Boya shotgun microphone plugged directly into the do-it-all handle that comes with the creator combo for the Pocket 2. And this is situation number three, a noisy outdoors environment. I'm walking down a busy street here in Thailand and there's a fair amount of traffic noise and there are quite a few people and uh, market stalls around me. And that is a test of microphone setup number six, the Boya shotgun microphone attached to the do-it-all handle of the Creator Combo. This is an audio vlogging test 
of the DJI Pocket 2 and I'm testing microphone setup 6B. I have the Boya shotgun mic, a directional shotgun microphone mounted on here and connected to the do-it-all handle which comes with the creator combo for the Pocket 2. And for setup 6B, I'm holding the camera much closer to my face so that the microphone, the Boya, is closer to my mouth. And this is situation 3, a busy, a noisy outdoors environment. I'm walking down a busy street in Thailand and there's a fair amount of uh, traffic around me, people and market stalls. And this has been a test of microphone setup number 6B, the Boya shotgun mic closer to my face. I am testing microphone setup number one using the four built-in microphones in the DJI Pocket 2 itself. And I am testing microphone setup number two, which is a lavalier microphone, which I have here on the front of my uh, shirt, connected to the do-it-all handle, which comes with the creator combo with the DJI Pocket 2. And I am testing microphone setup number three, the DJI Creator Combo wireless mic. This is the wireless mic that you get with the Creator Combo set for the Pocket 2. And this is a test of microphone setup number four. I have a lavalier microphone, which you can see on my chest, and it is attached to the wireless mic, the DJI wireless mic, that comes with the Creator Combo Kit for the Pocket 2. And I am testing microphone setup number five. And I'm using a Rode Wireless Go microphone. I have it underneath my shirt. And I have the Rode Wireless Go set to the lowest decibel rate output rating. And I am testing microphone setup number five, which is the Rode Wireless Go microphone which I have underneath my shirt here. I have the Rode Wireless Go set to its medium decibel output rating. And I am testing microphone setup number five, which is the Rode Wireless Go. I have the Rode Wireless Go microphone underneath my shirt. And I have the Rode Wireless Go set to its highest decibel output rating. And this is a test of microphone setup number six the Boya shotgun microphone plugged directly into the do-it-all handle that comes with the creator combo for the Pocket 2. And I'm testing microphone setup 6B. I have the Boya shotgun mic, a directional shotgun microphone mounted on here and connected to the do-it-all handle, which comes with the creator combo for the Pocket 2. And for setup 6B, I'm holding the camera much closer to my face so that the microphone, the Boya, is closer to my mouth. Conclusion. Well, it's the next morning now. I've had a chance to go over all the test clips that I took. I've listened to all of them a couple of dozen times each. And I'm back on the same street, though it's not nearly as busy now as it was yesterday between four and five o'clock and based on those tests i have to say that my favorite was setup number four the dji wireless mic connected to a lavalier mic i like that sound the best and it has the added advantage of some convenience because you get to be wireless i don't have anything tethering me to the camera and i get good sound from the lavalier and I just put the wireless mic into my pocket. It's very convenient, uh, very simple, very easy. Setup number one, the built-in microphones in the pocket two. I think that struggled in this noisy environment because those microphones have kind of a surround sound, four separate microphones pulling in sound from all directions. And uh, I think it pulled in a lot of 
extra sound. A lot of the ambient noise, too much of the traffic noise. However, I should put in a very large caveat here that I did all those tests with everything at the default. So you could probably tweak a whole bunch of settings and improve the sound of any one of those microphones. So for the built-in microphones, I could have set it to front-facing microphone only, and then it would reject a lot of the uh, sound from around. But I didn't do that. I had it set to the default, which means all microphones. But even so, I don't think the built-in mics would be the best choice for me in a noisy environment with a lot of traffic. Setup number two, just the lavalier microphone plugged right into the do-it-all handle. I like that sound. I thought it sounded pretty good. But then you have the inconvenience of being connected to the camera by a wire. And until you've done that a few times, you have no idea how difficult that can be after a long day. It can drive you crazy. And with that wire holding you to the camera, you run into maybe a half a dozen situations that during the day where you might accidentally pull your camera off a table and have it crash to the ground because you forget you're attached to the camera by this wire. So I like to avoid that if I can. Setup number three was just the DJI wireless mic, the one that comes with the Creator Combo. Very, very high points for convenience because it attaches to the do-it-all handle wirelessly and you never have to think of think about it again it just works you can clip it on to your shirt or to your knapsack or clip it on anywhere you like no wires no mess no fuss and according to what it says on the screen with a full charge you get anywhere from six to seven hours of battery life which is pretty good but I found the audio, the quality of the audio, suffered in comparison to the alternatives. So I was listening to the lavalier mic only, and right after that came the wireless mic. And when I compared the two, the audio from the wireless mic seemed a little bit more muffled, not quite as sharp or vibrant. Another caveat here though, that if I bought the Pocket 2 with the Creator Combo and all I had was that wireless mic, I'd be over the moon about it. The audio quality is fantastic. It's more than good enough, I think. More than good enough for uh, YouTube videos. So that's all you had and you weren't comparing it directly to other microphones. You would never even think about it. You'd be happy with that audio and I think everybody else would be happy with it too. But when I put it side by side with some other options and uh, considering my own preferences for audio, I'd like to have a little bit more ambient sound coming in and the wireless mic seemed to isolate my voice very strongly and reject a lot of the ambient sound. And some people might like that so it might be a better choice for them. But I far preferred using that wireless mic with the lavalier mic plugged into it. That to me produced a better sound. Gives me almost the convenience of the wireless mic, but a better sound quality. So that was my favorite. Setup number five was the Rode Wireless Go. And uh, it's, it's my favorite microphone overall. That's all I use with my GoPros. It's all I would ever use if I had a choice. And I think it sounded pretty good too. I like the balance the Rode achieves between isolating my voice, focusing on my voice, but it also brings in enough of the ambient sound to make it interesting. I can hear the traffic, I can hear people around me, whereas the DJI wireless mic kind of cut out a lot of that extra sound. The road pulled it in, but it still kept my voice front and center. And it seemed to have a kind of a brighter, more vibrant sound to me than the DJI wireless mic. Though, as I said, that's just comparing them like one right after the other. 
if all I had was the DJI wireless mic, I'd be perfectly happy with it. Finally, setup number six was the Boya shotgun mic. And it, again, it was kind of my least favorite because it did isolate my sound a lot because it's a very strong directional mic. It rejects sound to the sides and behind it quite strongly. And it seemed like it needed to be very close to my mouth in order to really pick up my, the sound of my voice. However, another caveat, I have since found out that in the pro mode, I didn't know about this at all when I did my testing, in the pro mode of the Pocket 2, you turn on pro mode, you get a new audio control setting, a recording setting, where you can adjust the recording levels. It ranges from 1 dB to 20 dB. The default, I believe, is 10. So if your microphone isn't loud enough, you can raise it all the way to 20, and it becomes much, much louder. If your microphone is too, too hot, too loud, you can lower it all the way down to one, and it becomes much quieter. So, a lot of the testing that I did, I kind of have to take the results with a uh, grain of salt, because if a particular microphone wasn't satisfying to me because it was too loud or too soft, a little bit distorted, I probably could have gone into the settings and tweaked things and adjusted things and they would have sounded better. But as I said, I did all of this on the default settings. And based on that, my uh, preference right now is the uh, DJI wireless mic combined with a lavalier mic. And that's what I'm using right now to record this. So that's it for now. <laughs> I'm still climbing up that learning curve for the DJI Pocket 2. This little camera has worked its way into my heart so fast. Uh, I love using it. There's something about this camera that I really love. Um, it's fun to use, good image quality, good audio quality, very modular with lots of options that you can work with. So yeah, I like it a lot. I worked my way here to one of the uh, landmarks of Mesot, thinking that I could uh, end the video here. So that is the end of my audio test of Situation 3, a noisy environment with a lot of traffic. So I hope uh, I helped you out a little bit if you're trying to decide what kind of microphone to use with your DJI Pocket 2. Mm -hmm.